Today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to follow up with leads step-by-step. Step. Let's get to it. All right, before we get into today's video, you know exactly what I'm gonna say. I might as well just like pre-record this and just put paste it in every video. If you get any value from my videos and you've been following me for a while, can you hit the subscribe button? I really appreciate all of your support. This just helps us grow and allows me to create more videos and help you get more deals. All right, so if you're struggling with your leads, if you're struggling with your process or you just don't have one, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it from when I first started to how our team does it now especially if you're just starting out. If you've been doing it a while and you're like, hey, I, I want some pointers on how to do it better, keep watching because I'm gonna share everything with you. Okay, so number one, have a system in place. Okay, that sounds like a no-brainer, right? But let's talk about what the systems could be or what they could look like. If you're brand new, you could absolutely just create a template through Excel to manage your leads. In the beginning, it does not have to be a complicated decked out system. I know a lot of you, because you call me and you put yourself on my calendar, you say, I, I, I'm trying to build out my website, I'm trying to build out my CRM, which is your client management, and I've been spending hours and I've been trying to do this for two years. And I'm like, cool, none of that matters. If you're not making money, it does not matter how great your system is. I mean, you could have the best CRM in the entire world and it could be super impressive and be broke because ultimately, if you're not taking action with these leads and you're not following up and we'll get into the consistency, it doesn't freaking matter. It's just data that you're inputting and you're doing for fun and you're basically doing this as a hobby. So have some type of system in place that is easy because if it's easy, you'll take action. So let's start with Excel. You could absolutely just have a spreadsheet. There are free templates online. And like, look what I'm, I'm doing here, guys. Like I'm making it super simple. Download a free Excel file where they have templates where you can just categorize your leads, like dates that you talk to them, just like a little blurb of the conversation and the next follow-up. And so you can use that to see, like you can even color code it, have fun with it. And then here's the key. So you keep all of your conversations here and then your follow-ups, and then you can just add it on your calendar so it reminds you when you have to follow up. So there is your free inexpensive system that you can have in the beginning as you're creating momentum. As you're doing deals, as you're creating revenue, then you can create a whole system. Then you can get Keep or Infusionsoft like we use or Follow Up Boss or any of those that takes time and money to build out. But anything that you're doing that's building out or figuring it out for your business, that's not creating revenue. And in the beginning, I want you to think only one thing. I need to put revenue in first position, which means I have to create it, which means that's the priority. The priority isn't having the best business cards or the best headshot. The priority is calling the leads and getting the deals, that's it. We talk about this in our community a lot. We actually have an entire process built out where someone comes in, if you're coming into our community, you're coming in, you are following each step so you don't have to figure out anything. And only thing that I want you to do is implement. How easy is that? Like, I wish someone would tell me every day what to do so I could just implement because half of what I do is creating, half of what I do is having to figure it out as we grow and as we scale and all of, all of the businesses. I mean, this is what I've spent 15 years doing. And so we created an entire program where you literally just do it. And then when you get stuck, you're on the coaching call and you're asking us, okay, the seller hung up on me, so you know, what did I do wrong? Let's role play. Oh, this is, the, this is what you said, this is how you should have approached it. Now go apply, go implement. You see how simple it is? Because a lot of you guys don't create momentum and people end up quitting. I mean, the first year, 70% of the people that come in my industry, in the real estate industry, quit. 70, that's crazy. But I totally understand why, because you don't create momentum, which means you don't make money, and then you think it doesn't work. And it all comes down to belief. Like I could sit here until I'm blue in the face and tell you about all of the people in our, in our group that's making serious amount of money. I could sit here and tell you on the deals we've closed today. So that's one way of doing it. That's how I did it in the very beginning, okay? 
Another way you could do it that's super inexpensive is I actually have a closer notebook and I'm gonna have them put it on the screen so you guys can see it. The closer notebook is what I created for my community and for the realtors and the investors that come through because it's what I wish I had. And so we actually use it in my office and it is public, like you can buy it on Amazon. So we'll put it on the link. It's like a couple bucks. I think I listed it for like 15 or 20 bucks or something like that. And it is amazing. And so when you go through the pages, you can see where it says your time blocking and then each day you have your own accountability sheet. And then here's the best part. You can have all of the contacts made on that day. There's four pages for each day. So the, so when you're following up, you have it all right in front of you. And then once they become an actual client or under contract, that's when you'll put them in a CRM for task management and, you know, to see it through to closing. But you, you can have that because I'm a paper to pen person. So I need to see it like right in front of me, like, okay, oh, two days ago, these are who I talked to. And then it's on my calendar. And now I know exact conversation that we had. So I know how to pick up where we left off. So I created that for everybody in the community gets it as long as our book and training and stuff, but it is available. So if you guys want to use it for your business, I'll put the link in the description. The next thing that is more important than all of it is the consistency. Consistency compounds. And I hate when words get overused that are so powerful and so effective, but it is what it is. Like everyone always talks about be consistent. Like, okay, let's explain why consistency is so important. So let me give you an example of why this is so powerful and why, why I'm explaining like this is the most important thing when you're following up with leads. I had someone call me a couple weeks ago and they said, and this happens all the time, their situation. So they said, okay, Nicole, you know, I've been doing this for two to three years. I'm trying to invest and the cold calling does not work for me. So what else are you going to teach me? And I'm like, okay, well, let's talk about what you've already done. So cold calling doesn't work. That's interesting. Tell me your process, you know, so I can, I can just hear about what you've already done. Well, I pull the lists and you know, in a couple days I'll call and, um, I probably call like once or twice a week and then you know, maybe a month. And, but you know, I've been calling for years, Nicole. And I'm like, okay, you don't even have to say anything else. You might as well not do anything. Like I know in our mind, we think we're being productive and we think that we're doing something for years, but you're not. If you're calling, first of all, speed to lead. Like you need to make sure that you're getting to, the, to that person right away. But most of these sellers, and let's talk specific pre-foreclosures, like you have to call them six or seven times. They have to have six or seven touches before you convert. Now there's always those good days where you'll get them on the first time, awesome. But most of the time it's six or seven times. So if you're calling a lead one day and then six days later you call other leads, you're never gonna create momentum. It is more important to call every single day, even if it's only for an hour, as opposed to calling once a week for six hours or spending the whole day calling. When I say consistency compounds, you're gonna start building your pipeline of having so many conversations because every day you're following up, every day you're adding more people to that list. And over the next couple of weeks, you're gonna start having all of these people on your calendar of like, oh, I talked to Lauren, oh, I talked to Steve, oh, I talked to this person, oh, I talked to this person. It happens all the time, which is why I tell the people in our group, like, give me six weeks. Our, our pre-foreclosure bootcamp is six weeks. Give me six weeks of consistency. Give me six weeks of helping you and fast tracking you and you just implementing. And I guarantee that you will get leads. I guarantee, I can't guarantee you'll get a deal, right? Cause that's up to you. But I guarantee you'll have a pipeline full of deals. They may be at different stages. We've had people that have closed in six weeks. We've had people that like had their first closing. We've had people that have had multiple, like, you know, obviously it's gonna depend on how long and, and how often, but that's all it takes. And then after you create that foundation and you create the momentum, then you can start doing other things. So I hope that helped. I hope you, if you made it this far, I hope you got some key takeaways that you can go take action right now. You don't need a bunch of money to do this. You just need to be willing to show up and do the work every day. If you guys wanna join our free class, we're gonna talk about the community and we're gonna talk about how to work with pre-foreclosures and how to work with these sellers. You can click the link uh, in the description of the video and I'll see you guys next time.